Hey everyone, have you ever woken up with an annoying bump on your eyelid and wondered, is this a sty or a chalazion? If you have, you're definitely not alone. These two common eyelid bumps can look and feel very similar, but knowing the difference is super important for treating them correctly. In this video, we're going to break it down in a simple, clear way, so you'll always know what you're dealing with. By the end of this video, you'll not only be able to tell whether you have a sty or a chalazion, but you'll also know exactly what to do about it. Let's begin. Let's start with the sty. What is a sty? A sty, also known as a hodiolo, is a small, painful bump or swelling that typically appears at the edge of the upper or lower eyelid usually caused by a bacterial infection in the oil glands of the eyelid leading to a localized area of inflammation and tenderness. You might feel the tenderness and notice that the area is red and swollen. A sty happens when one of the tiny oil glands near your eyelashes gets blocked and infected. It's sort of like a pimple but on your eyelid. Those with a history of blepharitis are at a higher risk of developing styes. Sounds uncomfortable, right? But don't worry, styes are very common and often clear up on their own with a bit of tender loving care, TLC. Remember, if you've ever had a sty, you're not alone. Lots of people get them. And while they can be a nuisance, there are easy ways to treat them, which we'll talk about in just a bit. Now, let's talk about the chalazion. This is a non-infected blockage of an oil gland deeper in the upper eyelid or lower eyelid. It's usually painless and appears as a round, firm lump on the eyelid. So, unlike a sty, a chalazion usually doesn't hurt as it's without the infection that causes pain. Chalazia, that's the plural of chalazion, are usually a bit larger than styes and can feel firmer to the touch. They tend to develop further back on the eyelid, away from the eyelash line. If a sty isn't treated correctly, it can turn into a chalazion. People who have had blepharitis in the past are more likely to experience chalazion also. Even though they're not as uncomfortable as styes, chalazia can still be a bit of a bother, especially if they don't go away on their own. But don't worry, we'll get into how you can handle these two. So, how can you tell if that bump on your eyelid is a sty or a chalazion? Here's a quick comparison. Pains, a sty is usually painful, but a chalazion typically isn't. Location. A sty is right on the lash line of the eyelid, a chalazion is further back on the eyelid. Appearance. In appearance, sty might look red, swollen and tender, while a chalazion is often a firm round lump. Size. When it comes to size, chalazia tend to be larger and more persistent than styes. Before we go over some tips on what to do if you suspect you have either a sty or a chalazion, let's start with the possible causes of meibomian gland blockage, as both styes and chalazia result from meibomian gland problems. causes of meibomian gland dysfunction. Number one, skin conditions. Conditions like rosacea, which causes redness and inflammation of the skin, can lead to blocked glands, worsening eye symptoms, and contributing to meibomian gland disorder. Number two, dead skin cells. The accumulation of dead skin can clog the glands, preventing oil from being released. Number three, hormonal changes. Hormonal fluctuations during puberty, pregnancy, or menopause can affect oil production. Number four, bacterial overgrowth. Increased bacteria, particularly Staphylococcus aureus, can cause inflammation and blockage. Number five, environmental factors. Dry air, wind, and prolonged screen time can reduce blinking, leading to oil stagnation. Number six, dietary factors. A diet low in omega-3 fatty acids can thicken the oil, increasing the risk of blockage. Number seven, medications. Certain medications such as acne treatments can alter gland function or thicken the oil. Number eight, use of contact lens. 
Wearing contact lenses can cause dryness and irritation, affecting gland function. Now that we've covered the causes of meibomian gland blockage that can lead to the development of a sty or chalazion, let's move on to what to do if you have either condition. If you have a sty, handling it is straightforward. If you've got a sty, the best thing you can do is apply a warm compress to your eyelid for about 10 to 15 minutes several times a day. The warmth helps to open up the blocked gland and drain the sty naturally. Make sure you keep the area clean and avoid touching or squeezing it. Trust me, that'll just make things worse. You can also try over-the-counter treatments like antibiotic ointments or eye drops, but most of the time your sty will clear up on its own in a week or so. If it doesn't, or if it gets worse, definitely see your doctor. However, good eyelid hygiene is essential for preventing recurring styes. Gently cleanse your eyelids with a mild cleanser daily. What to do if you have a chalazion? For a chalazion, the approach is a bit different from how you handle sty. You can still use a warm compress, just like with a sty, but chalazion usually takes longer to go away, sometimes gently massaging the area after applying warm for about 5 to 10 minutes, 5 times daily if it's still tender can help the blocked gland to open up thereby resolving the chalazion issue. But if the chalazion doesn't improve after a few weeks, or if it keeps coming back, it's a good idea to visit an eye doctor. He might recommend a minor procedure to remove it. Some doctors prefer steroid injections directly into the nodule of the chalazion, which helps to reduce inflammation and resolve the size of the lump. Your doctor might also use intense pulse light IPL energy to unclog the oil glands in the eyelids and reduce inflammation, helping to clear up chalazia without the need for surgery or injections. It's an effective treatment option that can resolve chalazia quickly and prevent future occurrences. It's important to know that while chalazia are usually harmless, they can sometimes cause vision problems or become infected. So don't hesitate to seek medical advice from your doctor if you're concerned. Preventing styes and chalazia. Now let's talk about prevention. The best way to avoid styes and chalazia is to keep your eyelids clean. Make sure you wash your hands before touching your eyes and always remove makeup before going to bed. If you're prone to these bumps, Consider using a gentle eyelid scrub or baby shampoo to clean your eyelids regularly. Manage underlying conditions such as blepharitis or meibomian glands problems. By adopting healthy habits like these, you can greatly reduce the risk of bumps or swelling around your eyes, preventing infections and keeping the meibomian glands in your eyelids from becoming blocked. As we wrap it up, I hope this video has helped clear up some of the confusion around styes and chalazia. If you've ever had an eyelid bump, or if you've got a question about something we talked about today, drop a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to the channel for more easy to understand health tips. Thanks for watching and take care of those eyes.